was it in the camera? Right there. That is the hot spot. As you observe, crash then the tree. Now we have it on the turbo J MJ camera. That one spot there. That is coming from that's the heat signature coming from the muffler on this being picked up by the turbo J MJ camera on crash then the four. You can switch back now to normal view, which is the camera from the monitor. And that one is looking like a lovely colored monitor. The other camera is on board the piercing device, but we won't go into that now. We just go into the basic operation of the truck. Automatic. To operate the monitor. Take monitor, press that. And you can now move it before moving the boom. And now we are ready to get water, pump everyone. That is this button here, PR. And squeeze. Point. And we have media. Now for the bumper monitor, just control. With this joystick, press the top. And media once again. All the trunk nozzles, just press the button. And if you hear that, that is media being discharged from all the vehicle. Pumper roll is out and we are normal now. Pump the tank allows water for the tank to come into the Pump by the phone user pump and roll, but use pump and roll. It, uh, everything operates, the, the, the tank just open up and, and goes into the pump by. But if you're going to use stationary pump, you must use pump the tank as if you're using it from the inside of this vehicle in order to get um, water from the tank into the pump by. You press pump and roll, and you don't press this, no water, or you have to go outside and turn on the the switch so that it will open up the um, the valve so that water will come to the pump high. The luge allows water to come from the tank onto the windscreen. There you have that demonstration. You saw on the truck levels, tank fill pump cool. This allows um, every pump gear is in for a long time and it's just working, it allows the, 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 the water from the tank to be recirculated in, into, the, into the pump by back in the tank so that the pump will be cold. Pump drain allows the pump to be drained at the turret, which is the device on top, and these two allow it to be drained. Primer, this deals with um, external suction. In a traffic emergency, this deals with the emergency light settings that is off. This is our first setting, and this is our setting now with truck is light up like Christmas tree, but we normally have it on the first setting. External form suction deals with bringing form from the outside if we have the news uh, pick up tool to pick up form if the form tag is empty. Form if we just discharge media, we won't get form so we engage the form lever this button to engage the, um, the form valve so that it will open and then you will get um, form mixing with the media, the form concentrate mixing with the media and that is how we out, um, that's our primary agent here at the airport at the airdrome. Four percentage, which is normally set at six, is three settings, three, six, and eight. But we are setting is normally at six. And point to note is that there's also a lever on the outside, a switch on the outside, three, six, and eight. And whatever it is set at, at the highest setting, it will deliver. If out here is eight, 
and out there is three, it delivers at eight. If in here is six, and out there is three, it delivers at three. Whatever the highest setting, it will deliver. Dash fans, fans on the dashboard, comes on, goes off. We are seeing it have some lights at the back of the truck that it lights up. Um, like if you are putting a dark area, it gives that light. Same thing here for Francine, but these one here are extremely bright. Very nice. Nitro, if you want to um, use dry powder when you are um, um, use dry If you want to use dry powder through the piercing device when you are discharging nitro, but switch off and be turned off from outside and once you press that and you get your stuff. The joystick to control the boom. Right now everything is not working 100% correct, so we will not go through that. This is to operate the boom. You must have the gauge right in here. This is to operate the boom. You must have the gauge right in here. Boom. The story, right button and hold till it goes back into position. If you look now, you'll see it going into position now. Okay, there it goes back into position. And that's it. We have the three settings for uh, the piercing device before the boom. Low, mid, and high attack. If you don't want to um, use this to bring the boom, you can use these settings and it will go to low, mid attack, or high attack to enable the piercing device. Press that once this is on. And all you have to do is press this orange button, pull it back and press down and the piercing device shoots out. But we don't normally do it for um, for, for our daily operations. What we do, once we have the pierce enabled, we use the extend here, which is a, a multifunctional button, and it will extend the piercing device. Retract, we will retract the piercing device, and it's the only way to retract the piercing device, but the piercing device comes out via this method where it shoots out, or this method where it comes out slowly, which is what we will do in our 